So an icon site, you have this option here. We got a robotic total station there, and we got two prisms out there. There's one in the top left. There's another one on the wall up there. Two circle prisms actually. We've also got this one right here, and we got one over here. I've already taken measurements on all four of these. There's four of them, and you'll see them here on the map. The one and two are the ones outside out there. The three and four are the that's three, that's four. Those were shot as control points. Now, if you have those in your file and you have the following here turned on, this target snap button right there, if you turn that on, it will ignore any control points that you've imported or you've measured, and it will not lock on any of those prisms, the fixed ones. So we'll do a quick just power search here. And we'll let this thing spin around. It should miss that one, which it did, and that one, and those other two. So if those are fixed back sites, I don't lock in on any of them. Now, if you turn that off and you do that same routine, it will lock on these fixed back sites. So it found number three there. If you spin it on around here and search further, it's gonna lock on number four also, and so on and so forth. And if you power search further around left, it's gonna catch those other two. Um, if you turn that back on, it will miss all of them. Now there's one other routine here if you have all your data in here, then that's good. You got one, two, three, four, and also any other control points that you measure out here, it'll, it'll, it'll bypass those. But if you walk out on a job and you have multiple uh, survey groups, multiple companies, you may not necessarily have all of their points in your file. What you can do then, if there's multiple fixed back sites or dead men set up out there, you can do the following. You can do this tune out targets. I've already done this, so it already shows four in here. But what you can do is you can say start scan. This thing will do a full dome scan, and all of these targets that it sees, it's going to be the same four the two out there, as well as that third one and that fourth one there. It will add those into an exclusion list. So. We'll let this thing finish up here. It's going to do three rounds, kind of high and then medium and then facing down. So you got three different cycles there as far as your uh, zenith angles of the scope. So it's got the four. What you're going to do is hit check. So that is handy if you just walk out on a site with multiple, you, do, you don't have all the control or you don't know you know, they got if somebody else has their backside set up on a point, and you don't want to catch that thing every time it power searches, it'll bypass it. Also, if you come out here tomorrow and maybe there's two more setups out there, or somebody's got another nail over there and they're set up on it, you can do that scan again and catch them all. And for that moment or that day for you doing your field layout, it will bypass those as well. Um, if you do that tune out targets and you do that scan, you still have to have that target snap turned on for it to ignore the ones that it saw in that scan right there. So um, that's the deal with that. Now, so here's a little routine here. We just scanned all that so it's not the, supposed to find that one. So I'm going to tell it to power search right and it's gonna miss that one. We'll do a little example here. And there it goes, it missed it. Now, I just hit X to stop it. If I move this one over here, I don't know what the distance is, how far you gotta move it, but you'll notice 
let's just pretend this is me doing my actual field work here. And that's my one that I'm running on the rod now. Um, we'll do, uh, let's see, we're going to do power search left. And it finds it. So if you move it back over there right on that point that we shot and we search again it's going to miss it because it knows it's on that point number two or three or whatever it was but uh yeah anyhow pretty handy for if you have the points in your data collector or if you don't you have the option to tune out all the stuff that you do not want now of course if you're running the ap20 on your set up then you don't have to worry about that at all because it has its signature id and uh, that's not an issue but hope that's helpful it's good for the building guys for sure